Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's Manisha here. So today I'm going to be doing a review for Born Pretty Stores watercolour inks. So these are very kindly been sent out to me. So I've got a 20% off discount code, which is MMX20. Um, I'll leave it on the bottom of the screen here and um, down below with direct links for that. Um, pop that 20% discount code in because it will give you a further 20% off um, store-wide. So discounted um, products as well as full priced ones. So back to these watercolors. Um, there are currently eight colors in the set and um, a ninth one is actually a clear one which I'll just quickly show you here so this is like a blending fluid and um, I've been sent colors three four six and eight so I'll be swatching these and doing a couple of designs for you too today and um, they're currently retailing um, in US dollars three dollars fifty nine um, and then of course you can use that 10% off discount code but there um, there's some really nice pretty colors in there and they, they look really um, quite opaque so I'm quite excited to try these on so I'm going to move on to the uh, review part next so just stay tuned okay so first up we've got color number three so I'll just show you what this one looks like it's like a really deep turquoise shade and I'm going to be doing all of these on some white tips today and I've actually added a matte top coat onto these as well and um, these do air dry, so I haven't mentioned that before, they do air dry and they dry very very quickly so here I'm just going in with the blending fluid and just sort of adding little bits here and there just to um, disperse or sort of take away from some parts of the, the design and I just wanted to see how these look with the, the colours so I'm just going to do something really simple so we've got next up colour number four and this one is a sort of a deep sort of um, I'd say maroon shade yeah like a really dark maroon shade so this one's going on here and um, like I mentioned before they are very opaque so a little bit does go a long way and um, the, obviously the more you apply the darker it will become and um, just give it a few moments to dry in between if you've put a lot on the um, nail like I have here just give it a few moments here and there just to kind of dry out before adding the um, the blending fluid just to get a little bit more of control over it and um, I was just in the moment here and just going for it as you can see and um, I am wiping off that brush so the you know the brush with the blending fluid the clear fluid I am actually wiping that off in between and um, before putting it back into the bottle because I don't want to contaminate the liquid before moving on to the next color so this is color number six so this one I thought was a deep blue but when I actually went to use it it is actually a black so you'll see here and um, yeah very very dark obviously you can get the opacity that you want by layering it up and putting it on thicker if the thinner you apply it'll look a bit more grey um, but yeah this one here was really opaque I was actually quite surprised um, the the swatch here didn't turn out as good as I was hoping it was going to but anyway just kind of stick with me and um, I just wanted to kind of see what it would look like with the blending fluid but I've put a little bit too much on and you can see it's sort of pulled at the bottom of the um, the nail there so really I should have just let it dry and then come back to it but anyway I've kind of carried on with it and I'm going to put all of these aside to dry um, I'm going to add some more now because obviously before I hadn't added enough <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with this one but anyway um, yeah this one would be really cool in a marble effect and um, of course you can use sponges to sponge these onto your tips as well you don't have to use them straight with the the brush that's provided you can use a sponge to um, sponge on little bits here and there you'll have a lot more control and um, you can always put some onto a palette and just use your own brush um, and a fine liner brush or something like that if you want to have even more control so next up we've got color number eight so this one here is a, a sort of like a purpley blue like a it's quite an inky color I really liked this one and um, this is probably out of, out of the four that I've swatched today is my favorite color I thought it would have been the turquoise one but I really do like this color quite a lot and um, yeah it has that real dark inkiness to it bordering on purple now some people might see it as purple I still see it as a blue but um, yeah nonetheless it is a really nice pretty color and um, yeah it looked great in a marble design of course um, you could sort of do almost like a um, 
sort of like sea colors you could mix this one up with the green and um yeah just you know i think it'd be a really cool color to experiment with a lot more so now i lost a heck of a lot of footage here and i thought i was actually um pressing record when i was actually pressing pause and i didn't get hardly any footage of these um swat these designs that i've made up but you will see them right at the end uh, this is the only one that i managed to kind of salvage so i'm mixing the sort of burgundy color or the maroon color with the turquoise one the dark green sort of JD turquoise colour and just using the blending fluid again to um, mix these in. Now I did do four designs at the end um, and you will see them all right at the end of the video but I wasn't having a very good day recording and I was actually pressing pause when I thought I was actually pressing record so I didn't actually have any viable footage to show you how I did the other three designs. I've got the next one coming up anyway so you'll see a couple of them but there's two I've done on nail tips that have actually got a darker colour base so I've actually used, um, oh they're sort of more pastel should I say, one was a pale dusky pink colour and the other one was sort of like a pale baby blue sort of colour and I thought it would be quite nice just to try them out other than white because um, white's always just the way we always seem to go with it. Okay so I'm back with the swatches and the designs that I've kind of come up with. Um, I've top coated all of them with some glossy top coat and um, yeah I really like them. I mean that colour is so intense so these are a lot more pigmented than um, other inks that I've used um, even other Born Pretty Store inks so they are a lot more pigmented so just bear that in mind when you are using them a little bit does go a long way um, but they still blended really nicely and I was able to get some really nice colour combinations and I've also done them on some different um, bases too so I've sort of used a really nice sort of um, pale green one there and a sort of dusky pink there and then one two three oh four sorry one two three four are the colors um swatches so they're the four colors that i um were sent and i've used the um the clear one obviously for blending and then the others are all the ones that i've them um, designs that i've come up, up with so um yeah i really like them um they were easy to use i'd use them over a matte um top coat if i'm not having already mentioned that and um, yeah, I like the results. They do look really nice glossy and I'm sure they'll look even more amazing in a matte finish as well. So if you do want to check these out, um, head over to Born Pretty Store's website and use that 20% off discount code, which I'll have for you listed like I mentioned before. Uh, thank you again, Born Pretty, for sending these out to me. Um, I'm really enjoying using them. I'm looking forward to um, other colors coming to me um, too. So once they arrive, I will do swatches of those as well. Well, so keep an eye out for that video and if you've enjoyed it subscribe for more hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and hopefully I'll see you in the next one bye for now